Yeah, I'm going to go through how to assemble all the parts onto the LED ring for the pine saw. So what you need are some cutters. I really like my Tronics cutters. And then some good tweezers. And then your soldering iron. This one already has one of the LED rings on it with SMD LEDs. And then in the kit, there's two wires which aren't shown. You have your two LEDs, your board, your SMD LED, and three SMD resistors. What I like to do is start with the resistors, take your tweezers, open up that package, and get all three of those resistors out. These resistors are the 0805 size. Same with the LED. All right. The two of the resistors go on the front and one on the back. Like always, whenever I first start soldering, I like to tip my tip. It's a good little coat of solder on it. Good, nice and shiny. Makes it so it heats up well and quickly. And then this pert little dabs on each one of those sets. Going forward. Always put a little bit on before I put my iron well to keep it safe. I will take out this S and D open. Do be careful you can lose these if you aren't careful with them. This one does not want to come out of its package. I just like to tack on these resistors. Give them a good place. And for the LED, if you look at it, the green side on the back you'll see that there's a little arrow or there'll be a T. You want the arrow or the bar that's sticking out from the straight bar pointing to the left here. Hopefully you can see that well. So as we go on, like so. Okay. Once those are on, tag, then you can go on to the other side and solder them all in place. And if there wasn't enough solder on the other side, you can add a little bit while you're at it. Okay. Let's do one on the 
back now. This one you want to make sure that you get as flat to the board as possible. Go in. That's pretty good. Okay. That gets all the SMD parts. Now the through hole, you want the short leg going through the square. And with these, see them straight, I just perm in and then this tag one side briefly and get it. And then while holding it and try not to burn yourself with your iron, I just heat up that side. Push. LED in place. That looks pretty good. And then repeat on the other side. Don't touch it too long, you can burn up your LEDs. You just wanna make sure that they're flush and flat. With the board. Those look pretty good. You could angle it in a little bit if you want. That's all that you need to do. Make sure to periodically clean your soldering tip so it doesn't oxidize. Let's stay nice and Good. Okay, and once it's in, clean your tip a little, come in, and take your cutters and cut right up close to. I really like these razor flush cutters because it leaves a nice smooth cut. And if you're using some solder that needs to be cleaned then go clean it and this is how you get the stuff in and when the wires go from your iron to it they just go into those little holes up top and slide right on and that's how you get on all the parts within the led ring for the pencil thanks